Hello and well, welcome to another bite-sized training session from Computer World Training. My name is Simon and in this session we're going to be looking at some very useful features and tools within Microsoft Outlook. In this session I'm going to be using Outlook 2013, however the option is also available within Microsoft Office 2010 and also 2016. We're going to assume a scenario whereby you have to email the same group of people on a regular basis. Uh, but with different text in each of the emails. So imagine it was you were going to email your accounts team, and normally the way you do this is you might have created a distribution list, you would then start an email, type it in, and carry on. But we need to simplify this procedure. One of the options you can use to perform this is using a group of tools at the top of the home ribbon bar called Quick Steps. Now a Quick Step is a shortcut to an action which you do regularly, in this case the scenario which we just mentioned. There are a few examples already in the Quick Steps option. You can see to manager, team email, done, reply and delete. These are just default built-in ones which you can edit. However, what we're gonna produce and do is we're gonna create our own Quick Step with our own properties and our own list of names to go within the email. So following on from the scenario, I click on to create new and I will give my Quick Step the name of accounts. The next thing is to choose what I actually want this quick step to do. If I choose the drop down next to choose an action, it will then list all the potential actions I can get the quick step to do. So a quick step is not just about creating a new email to specific people. As you can see, you can move a specific email to a folder, mark it as read, delete, or even categorize. But we're more interested in the respond list where we can create a brand new message. Now, as soon as I click that, you can see the screen changes to then produce and give me the various fields and options I want to do. So we're going to produce two of these. The first one we're going to produce just a straightforward email going to a particular group. So if I now choose the two option, this will bring up my company's list of uh, all uh, employees who I can then choose who I actually wanted to go to. So I'll just choose a few individual people here. Obviously, you will go and search for add your own uh, group of uh, individual you want to place it to. So I choose five people, click OK, their names will then appear in the list, and then I'll select Finish. Now as soon as I select Finish, you can then see the Accounts option is at the top there, and if I click Accounts now, there is a brand new email ready to go to those five people whom I selected. Now you can create as many quick steps as you like at the top there, going to as many people, and of course this is now editable. So if I didn't want it, for example, to go to this last person, then I can click on the email, delete their name, and continue on the email I was about to correct and write. Now the quick step does not have to contain names necessarily. If you send a mail that just has particular text in but goes to different people, then we can do that as well. Again, if we go to create new, and I'm going to imagine that I would like to receive monthly stats from some of my teammates, but it's not always the same people. So I'll name the quick step and call it monthly stats. Once again, go to choose an action. And I will create a new message. Only this time I will leave the to field blank because I can choose show options. And you're basically creating a template with pre-populated text in the subject field if necessary and also in the text field. So if I type in the subject field, I'll put monthly stats. And for example, in the text field, I can type in, please send me your stats for month. You can then choose finish. And once again, there you can see is my monthly stats, that if I choose it, up comes a brand new email with that subject that I typed in and with the text pre-populated, and then I address it to the relevant people. So those are just a handful of quick step options you had at the top. You can select them as many as you like, going to as many people as you like. Now one of the things that Outlook 2013 began doing, and it does this in 2016 as well, is that when you have an email from somebody that you wish to reply to them, it doesn't always come up as a separate window. If I click reply to this email I've just received, it immediately tries to keep it in the same window as the reading pane. Now, if you like this, that's absolutely fine, but if you prefer it to be as a normal open window, then you can see in the top here, just above send, you can click pop out, which then becomes a standard 
email in a brand new window. And you can continue on uh, working with the email as you did in previous versions. If you would prefer to always do this, so as soon as you click reply, it opens into a new window. The procedure for that is to go to the file menu, and then options. On the left-hand side, you have your different categories. We need the mail category. And if you scroll down, you'll find a section called replies and forwards. And it's actually the first tick box there, open replies and forwards in a new window. If I tick that and then choose OK, here is my, new, my email. If I click reply now, it will open automatically into a new window and you can continue about your writing of the email. For more information and for more blog posts and training videos, please visit our website at www.defintomorrow.co.uk or our main website for future courses, www.computerworld.co.uk. Thank you.